boys and girls. Today for writing, I want to talk about how awesome your how-to books are coming along. I read a couple of them a couple days ago, and I read a story on how to write a song, how to ride a bike, how to jump, how to make a pizza. There were so many great things. And you know what I noticed? All of you guys as authors were doing these things where I was like, Wow, I want to do that in my book. I like how they used a diagram on this page and how detailed it was. Or I like how detailed their explanation of this step was. There are just so many different things that you guys did that were so amazing that I wanted to put in my writing. So today I thought we could look at this book together called My First Soccer Game. And we could notice some of the things that this author did in their how-to book. And we could see and notice, but they didn't see if we want to put any of those things in our book. So today we're going to make our writing better by learning from other writers. And the writer we're listen learning from is Ali Alyssa Satan Kapakuli. And we want to see things that we might try as a writer and how she does those things in her writing. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to watch a story together. I need you to sit crisscross applesauce hands in your lap or your hands are in your lap at your desk. Your eyes are on the screen. And let's see what this author did that was so amazing to Mrs. Tiller. Let's see if you think it's just as amazing. My First Soccer Game. My First Soccer Game by Alyssa Setting Capuccini. My first soccer game. It's my very first day of soccer. I can hardly wait to play. I have my ball and my cleats and my soccer shirt too. This is going to be a great day. At soccer, I need lots of new friends. Coach Green helps us warm up to get ready. Step one, follow the leader. Jog or run slowly in a circle with your friends. Now, lift one knee at a time. Can you balance on one leg like a flamingo? Do you notice something the author is doing? Look at these blue words. Why did she make them blue and stand out-ish? They even look bigger. Does anybody know what that's called? These are called bolded words. That means they're important. I thought that was something really cool that the author did that maybe I want to try in my writing. Maybe I want to bold or make the important words bigger. Maybe you could try that in your writing. Let's see what else she does. That was step two. Lift your knees high like you're marching in a parade. This is fun. I like soccer already. Step three, stretch time. Can you move your knees up and down like a butterfly flutters its wings? That's a great stretch. That will get you warmed up. Look at all those fast. bolded words. Step four, hooray. Now you're ready to play. Game time. Together, we run and dribble and pass. Our feet start and stop the ball. Teamwork is what soccer is all about. It doesn't matter if you're big or small. Don't forget, in soccer, you don't use your hands. Oh, she just gave a reminder in her book. That was cool. She said, don't forget, in soccer, you don't use your hands. That's really cool. Step one, put the ball next to the inside of your foot. Step two, Move the ball forward or back or even side to side. Tap and run, tap and run. That's called dribbling. Step three, buddy up. Pass the ball back and forth to a teammate as you run. That's called passing. Be sure to practice with both feet. Step four, toes up high to the sky. Heel down low, way to go. That's a great way to make the soccer ball stop. There's a very big net. That's called a goal. Can we kick the ball inside? Ready, set, aim. Now shoot the ball in. I did it. I'm so glad I tried.
how to shoot a goal. Step one, steady the ball with one foot. Use the inside of your foot to aim the ball. Step two, shoot. Kick the ball right in. Step three, uh-oh, someone's blocking. Step four, did the goalkeeper keeper stop the ball? The goalkeeper is the only player who can use his hands. So boys and girls, I wanna stop right there. I want to see if you can turn and talk to the people at your table and decide what great things you noticed this author doing in their book that you might use in yours. Go ahead and turn and talk. You're gonna talk for 30 seconds. Tell them what you noticed her do that you might do in your book. Go. All right, eyes back on the screen. Pups, pups. Let's try again. Pups, pups. Great job, boys and girls. Okay, I heard so many different things that you guys were saying that I thought were great ideas. I heard people say they were going to try and add bolded words that were important in their book. I heard some people say that they noticed that there were words and she explained what they means, like a goalie. She said a goalie is a person who can touch the ball in soccer. That was something really cool that she explained words that people might not understand. And I heard someone say that she saw a lot of different diagrams with labels on there. That's really cool. So I want you to think in your head, what can you do to add to your writing to make it even better? What are some things that you learned from the story we just read about soccer that you could add to your book? Today, I want you to finish adding detail to your story and making it better. And if you get confused or stuck, maybe you could ask someone at your table what some of the cool things they're using in their book are. You could look at their book with them and you could let them listen or read their story to you. And maybe you'll feel inspired to try something new in your own writing. All right, boys and girls, good luck with your writing today. I can't wait to read it when I get back. Bye.